Hello everyone, Big Al here from Big Al Hoffman Vlogs. Today we're going to go through how to get a spare tire out from underneath a stolen go van, uh, which is probably like a 2010 to present. So anyways, uh, let's get to it. We're going to make this video short because if you're sitting on the side of the road, you don't want to watch a 10 minute video. The first thing you need to do is uh, the jack and everything is right here. You just got to turn this 90 degrees. There's an unlock symbol here and there's a lock symbol here. So you just turn it 90 degrees and then you just uh, pull this out of here just like this. You got two pouches in here. This is for getting the spare tire down to the ground and back up and it's got another use as well. And this is your jack here. We'll go through a little bit how to set this jack up underneath your vehicle. Got a couple of pipes here and a T-handle. On my vehicle, only one of these squares fits on my uh, thing to do it. it go, this goes onto a square down there, we'll show you in a minute. You just put these together, just like this, and then this goes on the top here in the square. And that's it. Now we'll go inside the car, show you where, where this goes. If both of these won't fit on your uh, square down there I put a piece of tape on there so I knew which one goes on the bottom. Okay the access to this thing is right below here so you got to peel this out of here put it off to the side then you got to take this drawer out and right down here is what you put this tool on here so you just put this over that square down there just like that then you just turn it counterclockwise. It tells you right on top of here which way to turn it to loosen and which way to tighten. You just turn it counterclockwise until you can't turn it any further. And it's a releasing a cable underneath. There we go, stopped. So now we look under the car here. This is a multi-purpose tool here. You pop this off of here and you put it in the end here so that the little ball that's on here goes into there. All right, so you just hook it over the inside of the tire here. Give it a pull. You have to work it around the exhaust system there, but it comes right out from under there. Okay, this is what it looks like here. You just tip it up like this. And you pull this out a bit, then you make sure both of these are all the way out, and you just push these in and push it through the tire. And then you strip the tires out, you just take it out, just take it out like so, and then uh, when you're ready to um, put it back in, the tire that sticks out goes down. So you do that, just take this, tip it up on end. This thing has got to go out. Push this thing through the middle. And then it's ready to go back on the back. So you can use your tool you devised here to just push it back on there. Just get it past the exhaust system there. And push it under where you think it might have to go under here. This is best on a flat ground because it's got to go straight up in the underneath there. Okay, then you take and you take this out of here, put it back in here, and then we're going to turn it back up into the car. Now it says in the manual to tighten this down to your three clicks, so let's do that. One, two, three. It's all the way up in there, that's all there is to it. Now some, some consoles have a different thing, they don't have this here. The access point is always in the same spot, it's just underneath whatever's here or not here. I'm going to show you how to place your jack under the vehicle. You have the jack, and you have 
the wrench here. This will fit on the end of the jack and it'll also get the lug nuts off your vehicle. Now you're going to want to jack up as close to the wheel as you can back here. It's uh, reinforced here. And then uh, this cutout right here goes up into here. And then, then you just use your tool to then you just use your tool to turn it up. Now make sure you loosen your lug nuts before you get the deck tire off the ground, otherwise you're going to have issues. Just make sure you never go under a vehicle that doesn't have any jack stands or anything like that on it. These jacks are pretty cheap. You, you should be able to pull that tire out from under there without a, uh, without a jack. So if you jack it up, it'll make it a little easier to pull it out. I thought it was going to be a nightmare to do this, but this is, it's been pretty simple. Uh, I had a flat tire the other day and I uh, was able to get myself on the road pretty quick really. Uh, but I had to look in the manual figure out exactly how to get that thing out of there and everything. If you have a flat tire that you took off the vehicle, it will not fit on it. will not fit in that thing down there. You're going to have to put it in your cargo bay or somewhere in your van. And if I was you, when you got that uh, spare tire plastic thing empty, I would just throw that in your car too and just turn up the uh, and just turn up the the cable until so it doesn't rub on the ground until you can get back home and get that spare tire and get your tire replaced and get the spare tire back under there i hope this video helped everybody out make sure you check out my channel big al hoffman vlogs i got more content on there i put content up there about twice a week tuesdays and thursdays is what i shoot for anyways we're going to keep this short make sure you share your passion guys make sure you share it passion all right